I'm Scott McConnell. I'm the Director of Assessment Innovation here at Renaissance Learning. And today I'm here to talk to you about making better sense of curriculum-based measures through equating. So curriculum-based measurement, measures like star CBM, they are authentic measures of reading and mathematics that are simple to administer and produce scores that we can use to both screen children seasonally and to monitor their progress over time. Star CBM solves one of the biggest challenges faced by other CBMs. When reading a grade level passage, the most common form of curriculum-based measurement, scores will sometimes vary based on the difficulty of the text that the child is reading. Look at these two grade level passages. The one on the left is about playing ball. It has short sentences and a lot of the words are decodable. The one on the right, even though a second grade passage, is much, much harder. It has harder words like squirrel and longer sentences. It's more difficult and as a result we would expect the children to read it slower. That's a big problem, especially when we ask a child to read passages over a series of weeks. Harder passages are going to mean that the child might read a little bit slower. Easier passages mean the child's going to read a little bit faster. That difference, due to the difficulty of the text, not the child's reading ability, produces bounce or noise in the information that we gather from that child's assessment. Star CBM addresses this problem through a statistical process called, called equating identifying easier and harder tasks, and basically weighting their scores so that they become directly comparable. Let's look at an example. Here is a graph of a child's performance over 10 weeks. These are unequated or raw scores. The scores go around an aim line, that thin black line that shows the progress that the child is making in summary form, but you can see that the individual data points vary quite a bit from the black line. There's a lot of bounce. Now, when we convert that same performance to equated scores, we can see that the performance is much easier to evaluate. The scores are much closer to the aim line, and we get a much clearer sense of the effects of this intervention. It's the same performance of the child, but without noise from passages of different difficulty. Star CBM gives you a choice. You always have access to the raw scores, but importantly, you also have access to those equated scores so that you can use better information to make better decisions about the services that you're providing to your students.